Okay, uh, hey, uh, welcome to the double exposure assignment. I'm going to go over this as best I can. Um, I have provided another alternative too if you'd like to do an easier version. This is essentially just a really quick and easy version on how to do it. So this is a good uh, example here with the YouTube video. Uh, also if you look in the description of this YouTube video you can see that he provides the files for you to try to make this exact one as well. So you can do that as well. Um, I've also included a few other um, assignments. Essentially, these are three other assignments that would help with this one. Uh, you don't need to do those, but uh, again, those are just something that could help you along the process. Here's the final picture. So you kind of see the double exposure is uh, this woman and then uh, also like a mountain at the same time. Uh, so let's take a look at the assignment. Start one. Start by downloading the files. Um, if you click on that, I'm just opening this in a new tab so I don't lose my spot here. You'll see three files. One's the mountain photo, one's the portrait, and one says snowqueen.af photo. So this is actually an, a completed um, assignment, and I'll show you why that could be very helpful for you. So I just have them downloaded there to my desktop. Uh, what this is good for um, is using the history tool down here, you can actually see what it takes um, in every step. So for example, if you get stuck, you could go through here and just follow along by moving this. And these are all the steps I'm gonna, going to go over. Uh, also, if you wanted to abandon your, let's just say it just wasn't working out for you uh, and you wanted to just start off fresh, you can basically just jump in at any point here and just work off this one. Just remember to go file, save as, and rename it. Uh, but it takes your image from the start to this finished product right here. So I use this as reference quite a bit, um, but uh, again, you don't have to do that. And uh, with the two, two images you'll need to create this are the mountain and portrait. So that being said, download them start off with the woman so we're gonna go to file open and wherever you saved your files I saved them to my desktop and that's the name of it so we're gonna go file open uh, desktop that one right there you can kind of see it looks correct and it should just open perfect looks the same uh, it is a locked background layer Okay, right there. Oops. I hate it when that loses my spot there. Okay, so here uh, is where those preview, we preview, okay, there we go, select and refine it. So step two, uh, in the tools panel on the left hand side, select the selection brush and set the context toolbar to width of 150. So selection brush right there, shortcut is W. The width, it tells us to change that to 150. Okay. And if you click, you can see my brush is now bigger. Perfect. Now click and hold and drag the cursor over the girl to paint the selection. Essentially all we're doing is selecting just the girl. Um, you'll see that it starts snapping to all the outlines. Be sure that the, the girl is selected. So. And the reason why I'm telling you is because sometimes when you go over it quickly, you might realize that you're missing parts. So right here, the necklace. So that's too much, obviously. Oh, add. this is where add and subtract come in. So if you've grabbed too much, you can always go subtract. Uh, keep adding. Remember, I want to get the whole girl lips. That's why I said check the edges. I kind of go over the, all the edges just to make sure it looks good. And that's perfect right there. So I checked all those edges. Now I'm going to refine that selection. Okay, so from the context toolbar, select refine. Context toolbar is this toolbar right here. Click refine. You're going to get a pop up. Okay, right there. Make the same changes I do, just to make this a little easier to look at. I always right click and go open in a new tab, just so that we can 
not lose our spot. So this one, instead, I'm just going to hit 9, uh, 25, and then mask, and apply. Perfect. close those resources close that images so, okay after you hit apply rename the layer from background to girl so change that to girl perfect placing the image so now we're going to place the snow mountain image over the girl and create a new background the mount uh, mountain image is carefully overlaid using your eyes judgment all right so file place File, place. Now we got to find our mountain. Uh, again, it's wherever you saved it. You should know where you saved it. I saved mine to my desktop. I'm going to hit open. And now it's basically going to say, okay, well, where do you want to put it? Um, just, I just clicked. Uh, but now we need to resize it, obviously. So if I click on it, it should give me my selection tool. Came in very large. Just going to make it a little smaller. Move it kind of in the right place. Hit Control Plus and Control Minus to kind of get me where I need to be. I'm going to try to copy this exactly. So drag from the top left hand corner. I could have just clicked and dragged um, to resize it. Uh, I did it the other way. I just clicked to drop it full size. Now I'm moving it. So again, I'm going to try to copy as much as closely to this image as I can. I can tell it's a little bit wider here. Um, I need to go a little higher. So that looks about right. A little bit over here. Tip of the nose. Perfect. So that's about as close as I can see there. And then rename this to Snow Mountain 01. Really important to name these properly. Uh, just so that you can see, uh, you're going to have many, many layers by the end of this. So if you name them properly, it'll just make things much easier. Uh, step three, we're going to create a background. So from the layer menu up here, layer, select new layer, new layer. Perfect. Drag the new pixel layer down, bottom, there we go. layer okay okay so we're there so from the tools panel choose the color picker I just hit I I should get you now you can select move the corner blue sky right there so we're essentially just grabbing this blue you can see there that this changed I have it on color uh, anytime I click on something, it's going to select to whatever color is under my cursor. But we want to get this blue kind of in the mountains right there. Okay. Uh, shoot. If you click on your images, then you'll lose your spot. Always right click and open new image as. Okay, so I've done that. Now that we have the color, we need to select the new layer. Perfect. Currently named pixel. So we'll go edit. Fill. Edit the top. Fill. And primary color. Because the primary color is this one. The secondary color is that back one. Please pardon the interruction. Any students going to the job fair are asked to please meet at the okay. front door by 945. Apply. You see that now change it filled with that blue. Okay. Alrighty, change the blending modes. Oh, don't forget to change the pixel layer to background. Perfect. Okay, so now you should have three layers, one with a mask. It should look just like mine. So number four, changing the blending modes. This stage is really important because we're going to mix the two images with the use of the blending modes and layer masks. Number one, on the layers panel, on the snow mountain one layer, so select that, 
change the blending mode to overlay. Blending mode's right here. Uh, I really like in Affinity how it shows me what it's going to look like. Okay, there we go. Kind of blue, perfect, just like that. Just did that, perfect. Okay, so we need to make selection of the girl, and the easiest way to do that on a PC is to hold control on a Mac, it's command. But we just wanna click on that little thumbnail, and you'll see here how it just selects the girl. So I'm gonna hit control, click that, and see my selection is now just the girl. To make this easier, I'll just separate this a bit. There we go. All right. So be sure to click the thumbnail. You saw I just clicked right in here, not on the layer. Uh, you have to click that layer mask or you'd get the whole image, which should be a square. Okay, so that's why that's there. With the selection made, we go layer menu, new layer mask. So layer menu, new mask layer. There we go. So you should have something that looks like this. Um, in my image, my screen capture, it looks black and white, but I don't know why that is. Um, that must be a mistake. Maybe I'll actually take a new screen capture just so it uh, looks a little different because mine here is blue. Like I have the blue and this is where people kind of thought that theirs looked different than mine. Okay, so step five, we need to deselect this because you can see there's a selection. Anytime there's a selection, anytime that we can like those moving lines, that means we're telling the program all we want to do is actually work inside of those lines. So we're going to go to select, deselect, control D is a shortcut for that as well. Okay, now from the tools panel, paintbrush tool, we'll hit B, hit B, you can see there it selected that brushes okay we have to get the 128 pixel round soft brush from the basic category so we have basic some of you were grabbing you saw 128 and just grabbed it that's the wrong one doesn't look very soft does it so if you go down to the bottom you can see that this one looks much much softer there we go so I've selected the 128 from the basic category adjust in the context toolbar so that says 500, I'm just going to open a new tab just to make sure I have it correct. 500. Okay, opacity, 60%. Uh, flow, 100%. And hardness, 25%. Really important that you use my numbers. If you don't, uh, something will likely not turn out the exact same as mine. Okay, change that, change the foreground color to, to black. So we talked about that before. Foreground color is whichever one is on top. Uh, pure black is just right there. You can go drag it down to a corner, but it's just zeros all the way across. Okay, so we have that black. Okay, paint away the girl's face. And it's kind of, I should have explained, like for example, watch, if I just click on it, you can kind of see um, it will start to do that, but I'm just going to undo that step. And it doesn't really tell me like, am I on a layer? But if I click, you can kind of see uh, where I hover, you can see what it's going to do. So I don't want to get rid of it completely. I'm just gonna make a few small clicks. So it's a little bit softer. There, so I can kind of still see it on her face. I didn't go crazy. The people who don't um, do these adjustments here or correct those settings, it'll look very different. It might erase it completely. We don't wanna erase it completely. We wanna have kind of that look of the mountains on her face. I'll just do a tiny bit on her ear too, just like that. Okay, I like that. All right, now we're going to select the snow mountain, layer one right there. Make sure you do not select the mask. Uh, sometimes you can select just the mask, just like that. Um, you can see that if it, I drop it down, but I want to make sure that the layer is highlighted. So I usually just click right on the, like where the words are. If it's blue like this, you can tell that's correct. Okay, um, there we go. With the layer selected, go layer, menu, choose duplicate. So layer, duplicate, 
you could also just hit Control J. Perfect. So it went like really blue and it kind of went funky. People kind of get freaked out by that. They don't know what's going on. Everything's good. Yours should look like mine. Uh, now on this new layer, change blending mode to lighten. So we have, this is our second one. We're just going to change that to, where is lighten? It's just up there. Perfect. Okay. Now we need to click on the layer mask. We do this by clicking the layer thumbnail. So two ways to do this. You can click on that right there and it's hard to tell that's actually selected. But what I like to do is just click the drop down and if uh, you click on it right there, now we know just the mask is selected, not the layer. That's really, really important. Uh, we need to do some more painting, just like we did before. We're going to use the same brush we did before, but we need to change the opacity from 100% to 60. So, oh, okay. Uh, I might. Sorry, I might change the, um, the reason why this didn't show up as dramatic is because uh, I had changed the opacity to 60 where I missed my own instructions. Okay, yeah, sorry. Right there. Oh, no, I did have it there. So I was right. Sorry. Okay. Perfect. 200. Read your steps. Okay, there we go. Uh, step really b brings out more details in the eyes. Uh, we're going to rename it. And I actually didn't tell you, but uh, it should say to go over the eye just like that and see how it brought the eyes just a little bit brighter. I'm going to do that on the ear as well. Makes it just, and if I hover over any other little section, I might just do it right there too. Perfect. I'm happy with that. Uh, and then just says rename it to Snow Mountain Zero Two. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to stop here, one to eight. I'll make another video for the next steps.